A group under the aegis of Clan Foundation has taken its awareness campaign to gap and secondary schools in the Do South Senatorial District. A state coordinator, Blessing A. Roman, who hinted that the state has the highest number of human trafficking in Nigeria, said they are working to make the state free of the scourge. Hence the need for the sensitization at Itoho Girls Grammar School and St. Maria Goretti Girl Grammar School. 85% is a lot from 100. But one of the beautiful things about it is that we can actually reduce it to the barest minimum. And that's why we're calling every stakeholder. It's not a one-person thing. I believe that 85% is, is sounding high, but I believe that with this constant effort, we have done um, town hall meetings with community leaders, we have done radio um, programs, you know, where we kept talking about the same issue, and then we have brought it down to the school so that these children are given the capacity by themselves. I believe that when all of all this sensitization and awareness put together are, you know, done in a good way so that the children and the parents, everybody in the society are allowed, know that this thing is really dangerous. It's not only the good things we hear about it. When we catch these children young, the issue of, of um, trafficking can actually be curbed. The thing is, we agree that we cannot stop it totally, but we be, I believe it can be reduced to the barest minimum. So we started like this, informing these children about the dangers of, of human trafficking in their, in their future, how it affects their future. They can be able to make the wise decision, the correct decision, the right decisions that will affect their future. The message I'm going to take home, or the points I've learned, is that human trafficking is illegal. And the persons that engage in it are called traffickers. They come with the, with the, they come with the common flag of being our friends. They persuade us into trafficking by buying us things, seeming as good people. Then after the enticing, enticement with gifts, they coerce us or force us to go there. We got to know that these traffickers, they don't come with the intention of telling us what we are going to do there. They come to deceive us, to tell us that their jobs are waiting us there, or maybe we are going there to school. But with the nap tips today, we have got to know that these traffickers come in different means, in deception, in tricky ways, and most times they also take these people to swear an oath that if they are to say anything, something bad might happen to them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.